uh, hello again. Uh, so we've done a proposal. Now, uh, next thing is, second thing is angle. So angle, um, with this method, very, very simple, but you don't need any complicated perspective and so on. Um, I'll show you how. Make sure this is absolutely straight to with this one, not angled on some original picture, whichever whatever position there is. So in this picture there isn't much much sort of angled sort of line. Uh, most of them are sort of horizontal, which is parallel to the edge, and then vertical trees and round post is kind of um, parallel to the side, you know, side of the paper. But some of the line, especially maybe in landscape and architectural drawing, there are lots of diagonal lines and all this. In this picture, I can see quite obvious one in this footpath on the snow. So I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Make sure, after making sure, you know, this is absolutely straight to each other, you just uh, put something or even your arm, whatever, and then just shift them parallel way, parallel way, onto the paper. So it's about this sort of angle, parallel, yes, sort of, you know, mark it, and then just extend this, this angle. Anyway, but you don't need a really ruler or anything like that, but maybe if it makes it easier, you can do it this way. And another way of sort of deciding this angle is you can sort of measure it from the edge, you know, where, where this comes from. Or sort of maybe from horizon, maybe about third of this up to horizon. So maybe after maybe it could be slightly lower probably anyway and um, you can measure here as well this is halfway through so it's just a bit more than halfway through and then i think which is so you can make sure angle wise two way one is parallel shift of the angle and then one is just measuring the edge but if there is sort of line, like it doesn't go to the edge, then maybe you have to do parallel shift is a better way. <clears throat> so this is the angle. Um, in this way, you don't need all this complicated uh, perspective on all, all this. You don't need. It's just so simple. Um, so... Um, so up to now, up to this point, it's kind of proportion, you know, we kind of positioned all these uh, sort of major things, size and position, by, by measuring proportion halfway through and then halfway through what comes, and if something comes, you mark it, yeah? And sideways as well, maybe sort of, then maybe you have to a bit more trees here as well you can see um, this is horizon and the horizon is most important because it's divide vertical and a horizontal surface something dark thing coming here um, and then dark mass here and all this but so far we've done Proportion and angle is kind of two dimensional. So um, it's like if you're doing some pattern on the fabric or cartoon on all these things, it's decorative things. You don't necessarily need some depths, um, depths or volume on the picture. But we are going to do, as we are going to uh, extend this to painting. So you need a kind of volume, three-dimensional illusion. To create three-dimensional illusion, you need some depth, you know, light falling onto this. So this is how you transfer angle, which is quite simple. But 
uh, yeah, to make it three dimensional, we have to do tone, tonal value, light and dark. Then that creates some illusion of space. So we we'll move on to tone in the third part, next part. Okay, so good luck. If you have any question, there are pictures, more, lots of lots of sort of angle, angle the things have to transfer. But method is very simple, just parallel transfer. That's all. Okay, so uh, see you next time. I mean, see you in the tone section. Okay, if you have any question, ask me.